Hey guys, welcome back, Boltzwaiter here, and today we're going to be going over the cards that were revealed in the Yu-Gi-Oh! stream that OCG had. And the first off, we have the Ghost Rare, or Holographic Rare, that the OCG gets, which is the new Cosmic Quasar Dragon. And in my opinion, going back to cover cards is pretty cool, and to be fair, I really like how it looks. Because it also matches with Shooting Star Dragon and Stardust Dragon. So let's get into the cards, and first off, we have Hita, the Fire Channeler. She is joining the ranks of her sisters, and finally, finally, has her Channeler. She is a level 5 spellcaster effect, 1850 attack, 1500 defense, and it's always a charmer card. You don't... Only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can discard this card and one fire monster, add one fire monster from your deck to the, your hand with attack greater than, your, than the attack of the other discarded monster. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of the turn except fire monsters. When a fire monster you control is destroyed by battle while this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card. This card is actually very good in things like Volcanic and Salamangrate. Because they basically just use all fires. You can also run it in Battle and Boxers too. So this card is very good in my opinion. It's definitely better than Win and Asa. But sometimes some are better than others. I can't wait for when Area gets hers because that's going to be insane. Next up, we have the legendary Illusion School of Magic set or step out of the mists. A new legends ar arrive from the illusion. We have brand new Chimera, the flying mythical beast support, and we have a total of seven cards. We have Gazelle, the king of the myth mythical claw. It is a level 4 Earth Beast effect, 1500 attack, and 1200 defense. I love the artwork on this card. You can only use one, the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level 5 Fiend Monster or one Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material, you can add one Illusionist Monster from your deck to your hand. Um, Illusionist Monster? Um, is this just direct, is this kind of a pen, a support to Pegasus cards? That's actually pretty cool. So we have Illusionist Faceless Mage and it's retrain. We have Dark Eye Illusionist and Millennium's Eyes Illusionist. So those are your four targets outside of whatever else is new. We have Burfomat or Burfomit, the Great Wings, a dark level five effect monster with fourteen hundred attack and eighteen hundred defense. You can only use the first and second effects. Of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level four beast monster from your hand and or one chimera fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except for fusion monsters. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material, you can target one illusion monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So they kind of want you to run illusion mythical beast that's pretty nice i actually might have the illusionist card somewhere in my commons but that's pretty cool next up we have cornfield coltal it is a level four wind illusionist effect monster we have a brand new type I'm sorry. So that's Illusionist?
You can all, you can discard one card, add one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand, except Born Guild Coltal. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card so you control and you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard and negate that effect, and if you do, destroy that card. I am so baffled. I need to take a seat. Because I was not expecting a new illusionist type. Um, we have Mirror Sword Knight. It's a level 4 light illusionist effect monster. 1900 attack, 300 defense. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name once per turn. Quick effect, you contribute this card. Special summon one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck, except Mirror Sword Knight. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, and you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, you can banish this card from your field or negate and... Negate that effect. That's a very good card. Why are these cards super good? I really like them. Next up we have Chimera, the Illusion Magical Beast. Level 8 Dark Illusionist Fusion Monster. 3100 attack and 2800 defense. Now that's, that's crazy art. It takes Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, and one Illusionist Monster. This card is always treated as a phantom beast monster. This card's name becomes Chimera the Flying Magical Beast while face up on the field or in the graveyard. This card can make attack on monsters during each battle phase up to the number of fusion materials used for its summon. So you're getting, at least with this, you can get up to seven or eight, depending on situations. This card can... Uh, monsters cannot be destroyed by battle involving this card. Oh. If this card battles an opponent's monster at the end of the damage step, you can change that opponent's monster's attack to zero and negates its effects. It doesn't have to be the same monster it can, it can attack. You can just repeatedly attack the same monster with a 3100 beat stick. That's crazy. Then we have Chimera the Phantom Beast King. It's a level 6 Wind Beast Fusion Effect, 2100 Attack, 1800 Defense. This art is sick! You can only use the second and third effects of this card's name once per turn. It takes one Beast Monster and one Fiend Monster. That's super generic. This card's name become Chimera the Flying Mad Mythical Beast while on the field or in the graveyard, but is still treated as a Phantom Beast card. If this card is fusion summoned, you can activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. There's nothing wrong that's going to go with that. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one beast, fiend, or illusionist monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Okay. We, this is a very interesting type. I can't see what they... Can't wait to see what they do with this. Uh, next up, we have Chimera Fusion, the alleged Chimera Fusion. Um, you can only use a second effect of this card's name once per turn. And during the main phase, Fusion, summon one Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as a Fusion material, including a Beast or a Fusion. So, hand or field, that's absolutely fine. It is not a Shadal Fusion, which is very fine. Um, during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, and you have Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast on your field or in your graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. Add this card to your hand, or banish this card, and if you do special summon one Gazelle the King of Mythical Beast, and one Burr from, uh, from your deck, and or graveyard. Well, that's funny, because I just bought Gazelle the King of Mythical Mythical Beasts the other day. And honestly, this new Chimera support is 
very amazing. And this new type took me by surprise, and I can't wait to see what they do with the new illusionist type. And finally, we have the Altergeist support, and as we can see, we're starting off with a Link 4. We have Altergeist Malwisp. It is a light level 3 spellcaster tuner effect monster, 1500 attack and 0 defense. Okay, uh, it... You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is added to your hand except by drawing it, you can special summon it. If this card is normal to special summon, you can target one ultra case monster in your graveyard, except Mal's Whip. Special summon it in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. So, if you go activate trap, summon a multi character, summon out Silquitus. Cool. So Coitus bounces this back to hand, and then you activate the effect, special summon it, summon out an altergeist from the gr Wow, so you... Then you can just have a monster there. Does it mean activate its effects on the field or in the graveyard? That's my question. Altergeist, Pyrinate, or Pyrin Trader? <clears throat> Peer and Trader. It is a level 1 fire spell caster effect monster. 500 attack and 300 defense. I really like the art on these. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. And this card can attack directly, so it's Mill Seek. When, you're, when this card inflicts a battle damage to your opponent, you can draw one card. So it's Mill Seek, but you draw one card. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can send one Altergeist card from your hand deck or face up field to the graveyard. So, if you have this and, <laughs> that's kind of funny, if you have this and Milliseek, you can attack with this, draw one, attack with Milliseek, send a card from the field to the graveyard, and then you can link the two off to Kakurian, you get a search, and you get a foolish. <laughs> that's actually very cool. <clears throat> Next up we have Altergeist Adaminia. It is a light, actually it's a dark link for... Spellcaster, 3,000 attack, 4,000 defensive points up, down, left, and right. This artwork is crazy. Two plus Altergeist monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is linked or linked summoned, you can set one Altergeist trap card directly from your deck. Does not list personal spoofing. Thank you very much. Once while face up on the field, during the main phase, a quick effect, you can send one card you control to the graveyard, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, take control of it, and if you do, it is treated as an altergeist monster. So if you bait out a negate, you can just easily quick effect take that negate forever. This card's crazy, I really like this. And then we have Altergeist Revitalization. It is a normal trap card, and this art looks funky. You can use you can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name each or effects of this card's name per turn and only ones that turn, so one or the other. Target one altergeist link monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can banish this card from your graveyard immediately after this card is resolved. Normal summon one altergeist monster. I'm glad that they didn't make spoofing personal or personally broken by being able to search it or activate it. But, jeez. These cards are very good. I really like what they did. The brand new Altergeist support. I'm usually not a fan of Altergeist support, but also, I'm kind of a fan of what they did with it. And I'm also a fan of the Chimera support, the new F Fire Charmer, and we also have this. Let's celebrate the 25th anniversary with a magic show. We have Magicians of Beyond and Unity. It is a light level 8 spellcaster effect monster, 2500 attack and 2500 defense. Cannot be normal summon to set, must be special summoned from your hand by t having 25 or more cards in your graveyard. Gains 2500 attack while your opponent has 25. Okay, so it becomes a 5k, 5k. 
And you can just summon it out if there are 25 cards or more. So this seems like a very late game card, but it's, it's a very cool card. But I think that's all the news that we've had for tonight. I'm not sure if I missed any anything, but I'll probably make a video if they do. So let me just double check real quick if there are anything else but this is a really good card to probably end on it because that's what i'm seeing that this is the last of it but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video tell me what you think about the new illusionist type but anyways see you guys in the next video